All right, welcome back, folks. Today we're making cheesecake, and I'm gonna start making the crust first. I'm gonna use a graham cracker, but I'm gonna use a chocolate graham cracker, so it's gonna be the way I want it because I want that little hint of chocolate with it. So I gotta pack a graham cracker right here. It's about I don't know, I'd say six ounces, give or so. I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna crush the entire pack. All right, get my hands in there, make sure it's nicely fined. It's okay to have a little big chunks, but I don't want too many of them. All right, that looks good. Next, I'm gonna add my melted butter, about a stick, so about four ounces. All right, so we got our butter, we're gonna pour that in. We're gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of sugar. And then go ahead and give that a mix. So what this does is the sugar is gonna collect everything and make every, the butter is gonna make sure everything sticks. And then when I heat this up, the butter is gonna make sure that I'm able to form it into my pan so I can get a decent crust. All right, now that we have our, our crust mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down. We're gonna press it out. Make sure we hit all the edges. Now I'm using about a 10 inch spring form pan. So if you wanna use this size, totally up to you. You can use a nine or a smaller if you like. If you use a smaller one, it will take a little bit longer to bake, but that's okay. So we're going to press this out, make sure it's nice and even. All right, and once you have it all laid out and flat, we're going to go ahead and move that to the side and work on our filling, which is not very hard. It's just, I don't know, it's a lot of stuff. All right, so here I have two pounds of cream cheese, which I'm going to go ahead and mix until smooth. Next, we're going to add one cup of sugar. I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. All right, Timmy, pour it in there. Good job. Good job, Timmy. All right, well, since that's mixing, we're going to go ahead and scrape it down, break off the big chunks at the bottom, and then go ahead and keep mixing that. And then they go ahead and crack open three eggs and then mix that in as well. Get back up there. Alright. Here you see our three eggs. I'm going to go ahead and mix that in there. Come on, Timmy. You want to help me? Help me pour them in there. Come on, help me pour them in there. Good job. Don't touch. Good job. Alright, we're going to go ahead and let that mix. Uh, 
All right, next we're gonna add eight ounces of sour cream. And we're going to add one tablespoon of vanilla. You want to help me pour it? Yeah. Come here, help me pour it. Oh, hold it. Ready? Let's put it in there. Ready? Pour it. Good job, Timmy. Yeah, you want to see? Let's see what you did. Look. See how the vanilla's in there? Now we're going to turn it back on. And let it mix up nice and good until yeah. everything's mixed up. Next, we're going to add a half a cup of rum. I use Sailor Jerry's because that's what I like. So go ahead and pour that in for me, Timmy. Pour it in. Good job. Now Daddy's going to pour in his. All right, what this does, folks, is going to give it a nice spice flavor. It will cook out when it bakes. So if you're worried that it's going to have this weird alcohol flavor, don't be. So all we're going to do is mix it up. See how nice and creamy it's getting? It's exactly what we're looking for right there. All right, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to scrape my bowl, and then we're going to remix. All right, with our bowl scraped, we're then going to turn it back on, let it mix. Give it about another 35 to 45 seconds. Alright, now that it's all mixed together, what I'm going to do next is pour it into my pan. Alright, now that we have everything mixed, we're going to go ahead and pour it right in. Oh, this smells absolutely wonderful. Just like sailors, just the way it's supposed to smell. All right, so now we got it in there. Let's go ahead and smash it down. A nice little smooth layer. All right. Pick it up, a little shake here. All right, and then next I'm going to do is make a water bath. So I have it in a springform pan, and now I'm going to add about two to three cups of water just around the edge so it can bake with the moisture ring. And what this does is help make my cheesecake nice and fluffy. All right, looking at it, oh, that looks about right to me. So I'm gonna take my cheesecake and I'm gonna throw it in a 350 oven for about 55 to 65 minutes, depending on how long. To see if it bubbles up nice the way I like it, nice little round, almost formed like jello, so we'll find out. All right, let's take a look. 
Oh, beautiful. Just the way I want it to look. So what I'm gonna do now is shut off my oven. I'm gonna crack this. We're gonna let it sit for about an hour before I pull it. That way it has still time to cook and everything else. All right, so our cheesecake's been sitting in here for about an hour. Fell just the way I wanted it. Let's go ahead and pull it out. All right, now we're gonna take this out of the water bath. We're gonna pat it dry with a paper towel. We'll just throw it on a towel. And then we're gonna throw it in the refrigerator and it should be ready to eat within four to six hours or tomorrow. So enjoy. All right, so here you can see my cheesecake. I'm gonna go ahead and put parchment paper on the top so I can get the bottom off. We're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna use this as two. Lay it flat, flip it. And then I'm gonna use a hot rag to get this piece off. It's gonna chill it enough so I'm able to pull the bottom off. So here I have a hot rag. I'm gonna lay it flat. So I rub it down. You may have to do more than one application of this, but what this does is it break down all that sugar and everything that cooked to the bottom. And this is to make it come off the bottom for us. Wow. Alright, so it took me two applications. To, let's see if it's loose. Perfect. Come off. Awesome. Here we go. Let me go ahead and slide my cutting board back off. I'm going to flip it over. Look. Voila. El cheesecake. Go ahead and cut that in. Alright, and clean my knife. Now I'm only going to cut a piece just so I can get a nice little sample going. Get myself a plate. There we go. Cheesecake, the mint trolling way.